me, Nyla Gamer here, and today we are going to be playing some Generations. I haven't played in such a long time, and it feels so good to be back. I'm going to try my best to work on having a schedule or trying to make myself make some time to record videos because I know a lot of you guys request me to make videos, and I just haven't really had time. So I try to upload as much as I can or as much as I or whenever I can honestly so um, that's what I'm doing today I actually have time and I'm gonna actually record some videos today later on so I'm gonna record maybe two or three videos depends how much time I have but I'm gonna try my best to upload them I'm also gonna talk to you guys a little bit of what I missed well what I've missed and just to update you guys a little bit on the family and just on the game itself and if you guys don't want to hear me ramble on this, you can just skip ahead. I'm not sure what minute I would stop, but you can just skip ahead and you'll see. But, um, let's start. So, the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is I thank you guys so much for 800 subscribers. I think we're at 830, and I think that's amazing that we got to 830 subscribers. Like, you guys are awesome. Like, you, st like, that blows my mind. That literally blows my mind also thank you guys so much for I think it is 8,000 views on the part one of the generations that's awesome I literally never thought that we would get that far and so many people watch it and I think you guys really enjoy this let's play I just really haven't had time to record but I really love this let's play too and I want to see how big our family is going to get um, what else did I want to talk about? Oh, the second thing is that I did move out our sims. I made a poll on Twitter asking you guys if you wanted me to move them out, and a lot of you guys said yes. Also, if you want to, like, communicate with me or tell me something or mention it, you can always leave a comment down below or DM me on Twitter at NylieGamer, and I will definitely answer. It, I may take a little bit of time to answer, but I definitely will answer, but that's what, um, that's what I did. And I have bought all the expansion packs and updated everything, so we are up to date with all the things, so I'm not missing out on anything, and you guys won't miss out on anything else. I'm pretty sure that's it for the second thing I wanted to talk about, and the third thing I wanted to talk about was toddlers. Oh my god, I'm so excited that toddlers came out. They came out a couple of days ago, and I'm just super excited that they came out. Like, I literally, I, I saw that, and I was so hyped because, like, this... Let's Play is about generations, and the fact that they added toddlers will make it, like, a hundred times better, because now we can play around with the toddlers. I actually did interact with the toddler features. That's something I don't normally do. I li literally leave it all the time for, like, first impression, but this time I could not wait. I wanted to see how they worked out, and I've been waiting for it for a couple months, years, and they finally came, and I'm super excited. And I was so excited, like, I was literally screaming that day, but I'm so hyped. For this but today I actually have a super duper planned day for both Hunter and Madison so I actually when I move them into this new place I'm gonna show you the traits of the apartments and when we moved into this town I decided they needed friends so I made them a couple friends and you guys are gonna meet them later on today I think they're so cute like they're all like that cute little group you know everybody's unique in their own way like everybody has a sassy, um, a little more friendly, a little bit more, like, lonerish, like, they all have a different thing toward themselves, so I made their traits a bit different, but they're all super cute, and they are really good relationships with both Hunter and Madison. So as you can see right now, Madison is getting ready for her bachelorette party, and Hunter is getting ready for his bachelor party. I'm super excited for their bachelor and bachelorette parties because within the episode or so I'm gonna get them married and we're gonna start having kids which I'm super excited so if you guys want you can leave baby names down below um because I really want to start our generations you know it's basically been focusing on them these last four episodes but I think it's time that with toddlers now out we can start creating babies you know thank god I actually waited and didn't have babies like right then and there because now we have the experience or now we will have the opportunity to actually play with toddlers which is super duper cool if you guys haven't played toddlers then I can't wait to show you guys and play with you so I actually started them and I'm gonna show you guys the apartment and the different traits and I'm just super excited so I'm gonna first show you guys the traits so these are the traits. 
it's good schools. We are on Lee Line, which means we're going to have more, most probably twins, if not more kids, which is exciting because, you know, who doesn't want twins? And I added this treat, which I put the party place. I was going to add another treat. If you guys think that another treat fits well for the apartments, I'm actually going to open them and let you see the different ones. I'm not really going to go one by one. If you guys have any questions on them, you can let me know. But if you think any other trait fits well for the apartments, you can let me know. And I will definitely do it. I was also thinking about doing child's play, which makes the kids um, learn faster. But I don't know. I think already since we have the Lee line and the good schools, I think we're good enough with uh, children. And I wanted to do party play because... It's something about them. I think they should throw a lot of parties. I actually threw a party with them yesterday off camera. So to get their relationships up. But today we are going to go and throw our bachelorette party. But before we go, I'm going to show you guys the little apartment. So this is how it looks on the inside, outside. It's literally right next to town. There's a little like village carnival having right there. And I think it's super cute. So we come in. It's pretty small and I decided to change out to an apartment because it's a lot cheaper than going to a house and paying like thousands of dollars which we don't really have recently our jobs have been doing really good like we get 500 a day which is awesome and you see we're a detective right now and Madison is a medical technologist this their performance like her performance is so bad because she cannot diagnose correctly and it's so difficult for me like I always think I'm on point but I'm literally not so um <laughs> we're gonna work on that but she's also um earning a decent amount of money so we are doing good in this place and um so we have a room it's not that big we have our room over here and then I made this office for, for right now, but when we have kids, I'm definitely going to change this into a kid's room and most probably take out the office things and put them here or just create another room and then make a smaller kitchen, if anything. But we have a small kitchen, a dining room, and then just like a little sitting area that I wanted to put next to the window so that you can see outside and, oh, oh I guess we can't see anything because there are trees. But um, if you look below the tree, there's a little carnival over there. So I think that's really cute that they have this little window here so you can see and I think it's so funny the interactions and the different things that the apartments allow you to do because um, you'll see later on in the episodes but a lot of crazy things have happened to me with my neighbors which are pretty obnoxious <laughs> that Madison and Hunter do not like but you know what it'll get better but for now we are going to actually um, plan a social event. I don't think there's a bachelor bachelorette mod I really didn't look into it but I'm just gonna throw a party at a club that I downloaded from the gallery if you guys want to know the uh, the name of the club or anything you guys can just let me know down below in the comments and I will definitely do it so we're gonna have just a regular dance party and then we're gonna click to invite a sim oh I can just so the party goer is going to be um, Hunter and me. Can I pick myself? I think I can. And then we're going to... Oh, okay. I guess we're not. We're just going to throw a... We're just going to do the dance party and then invite all these people. So our friends are Sebastian, Jackson, Penelope... Mia, Lexi, and Savannah, Noah, and I'm pretty sure that's it. There should be about, like, yeah, that's about it. And then we're all going to go to the, where is it? I wish I could pick where I wanted the, The party to be but I guess I can't whatever I'm just gonna have it a let's see if anything I'll just figure this out and I'll come back okay so there wasn't a true way for me to throw a party so I think I'm just gonna invite to hang out um, all of them so I'm gonna invite Penelope um, 
Jackson, Noah, Lexi, Sebastian. I'm also going to invite Hunter. I don't know why he's not showing up. But I'm definitely going to take Hunter. Like, he's going to come somehow. One, two, three, four, five. Why are there only five? I guess the other two are working. That kind of sucks. So I'm just going to invite Jade and Juliet. Candace, she's nice. Um, should we invite Eliza Pancakes? I think we should. We're going to invite her. Ooh, sorry guys for my chair. It's making a bit of noise. So I'm going to invite them to hang out. Oh my god, I didn't want them to come over. I'm just doing everything wrong. I haven't played in such a long time. So we're going to actually... We're going to travel with all these people. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to travel with Mia, Jackson, Penelope, no, not Candace, Savannah, Hunter, Lexi, Noah, Sebastian, and I think that's pretty much it, yeah. We're going to all travel, actually, and everybody's coming. Okay, great. Okay. At least I'm fixing it. I haven't played in such a long time, so I really didn't remember how to work this, but I'm going to show you guys the venue that we're all going to. And we're actually going to Newcrest. I rarely play in Newcrest. Like, it's really rare for me to be there. So we're going to go over here to this nightclub. It's super big, and I think it's perfect for the night out. Okay, before oh, before I go in, I want to show you guys how the club looks like and what we're going to do. So this is how the club looks like on the outside. And it's pretty big. Let me tell you that. It's huge. So when you... Let me put the walls down. So we can go in. There's a red room. And then you can have a DJ and a mixologist and stuff like that. So this is where the guys are going to be. And then you can go upstairs. And then there's this pink room. And this is where the girls are going to be. There's an extra room. Which I thought would have been cool for like um, for a sort of like wedding venue. Wedding like night out. But I think it's better for them to be separate and do their own things. So I'm just going to separate both of them into both of their rooms with all the girls in one room and all the guys in one room and see where we go from there. Hopefully this isn't a hassle. Knowing me, this is a hassle. So we're going to go here together. I don't know who together is. And then we're going to go upstairs. Hopefully this all goes well. If not, we're all just going to have to go and you know chill here and hopefully I wish we could hire staff professional DJ and then we're gonna hire a professional DJ here too Ugh, that sucks we can only have one DJ whatever so then we're gonna hire staff and we're gonna hire a mixologist oh, I don't know who Mila is and then can't I invite another one that's so dumb that I can't and buy another one. Alright, I guess we're all just gonna hang out downstairs. Plus, the bar is already here, so we're just all gonna hang out here. I think it's better that way, honestly, because everything's gonna be a hassle. Where is everybody? Everybody's on the side swimming. They're so cute. Actually, before. Before I continue, I'm going to change everybody into, I'm going to tell them to change into a, uh, outfit that I chose for them. Okay, I put them everybody to have these to wear the same thing. Where is my other two friends? <laughs> Where are they? Nope, they're not here. Where are they? They must be on the side dancing. What's she doing? <laughs> She's so rude. Let's see. Um, we're gonna whatever, it's fine. Then whenever they come in, start coming in, we'll we'll change them. But for now, we're going to start drinking, and then we're going to 
um, order drinks for for group, and then we're all gonna get we're gonna go all out today. You know, it's our bachelor parties, uh, bachelor and black bachelorette party. So we're gonna go all out, and we're gonna get the most expensive drink. Sorry again for my chair. I don't know why it's making so much noise. So we're gonna get the hot and smoky. I don't even think I can um like buy this. I'm gonna be so broke, but whatever. So I'm gonna go talk to her to get us the drinks. Okay, now that they're in, I'm actually gonna ask to see their... I like how we can actually have a bigger group now and it won't be as boring you know when you have sims it's better to have a bigger group and hang out with everybody so now everybody's gonna get their drinks and we're gonna drink up everybody's grabbing their drinks at least they're being coordinated like they're all cooperating with me they're not making it difficult because i hate when sims do that <laughs> like it literally bothers me so much when i'm trying to do something and it's just going so bad even though this is, isn't what I expected, and I expected them to be in the separate rooms, we can all be here together and, you know, have a really good time. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit, maybe make it to like one or something. Nobody's drinking, like I ordered this, it was like a thousand bucks. You guys better drink this up. I'm gonna drink. I'm literally gonna drink it myself. I don't understand. <laughs> um, let's see. What's Hunter doing? He's not even doing anything. He's literally just sitting. Okay, everybody's gonna drink. Look at me. Look at Madison. She has two drinks in her hands. I think that's so funny. I'm gonna take a picture. And I wish they didn't show the plum bobs. Uh, gonna put. I'm gonna take a quick picture. Sounds good. Look at her, she has like two cups in her hands. She's so over it. <laughs> but I think this is gonna be a cute night. Plus, so I'm gonna show you guys who their per who her friends are and what their all their traits are. So this is, I believe oh, I forgot what her name is. Oh my god, what's her name? Okay, this is Mia Goodwin. She is, she lives with, I'm gonna show you guys who, she lives with Lexi Ruiz. They're just good friends. Um, they're both like these rich sort of girls. They live in the most expensive apartments. And they're both a bit like mean and, not mean, but a little bit sassy. But they still get along with her. So Lexi is a perfectionist, a geek, and she's mean and let's see and then mia is that even her name yeah no and then mia yeah is a music lover and i'm pretty sure she also has similar traits so then we have penelope she's materialistic so she's currently dating um jerome and they're nothing serious but she's kind of like the party animal of the group then we have Savannah. She is married to, uh, where is he? Oh, I think he's working actually. Um, but Savannah, she has a kid and she is married. So they all have their own separate lives and we eventually start visiting them from time to time. Also, sorry guys if this episode's a bit long. I feel like I owe you guys a bit of a longer episode since I haven't played in such a long time. And... I think we should all, you know, have a good time just watching, you know, if you're watching, have a good time watching, <laughs> but I'm having an awesome time. Oh my God, it's their birthday, celebrate Madison and Hunter's birthday, that's insane, no way, they're, oh my God, I, can I even order, oh my God, I want to celebrate their birthdays, I think we're going to all go home. I'm gonna have them travel home and then we're gonna celebrate their birthdays. That's awesome. Okay, so we'll double the party today. So we're gonna actually we're going to travel 
And then we're going to travel with everybody. Is everybody here? I know I'm missing someone. Um, who am I missing? Sebastian. We're going to invite Sebastian later on. So we're going to leave all these drinks and go home. And we're going to celebrate Madison and Hunter's birthday. Oh my god. No way, they grew up so fast. They're already going to be adults. And that's insane. Let me know if you guys want to expand their lifespan. Like if you don't want them to be adults yet. Or they want to be young adults. Most probably. Or we can take the... Um, potion of youth you guys can let me know and I will somehow put them their age back and create them into young adults if you guys want that let me know and I will definitely do it but today we are going to celebrate their birthday oh my god too many people so I'm going to uh, there's something disgusting and not having it so I'm gonna create a white cake and then we are going to just, you know, we should buy a little radio, stereo, and just have a good time. So I'm going to buy a stereo. And let's see. I'm just going to buy these speakers. They look so modern. I love it. And then I would buy like a board game. Maybe we can do that. Which, just to entertain them for a bit, and then sell it after, because we're not that rich, we need money. So, let's see. I know there's that llama game that they can play. Where is it? Um, oh, it's right here. Uh, let's see. Don't wake the llama. And then we're going to get the cheapest chairs, because <laughs> I don't have money for that. Let's see. We're just going to get these foldy chairs. And can I move this a bit over there? Okay, great. Looks good. So we're gonna come and have Hunter replace Don't Wake the Llama. Um, why is she flirty? I don't understand. So we're gonna have everybody play. And we're gonna play with... I guess they're already here. So we're gonna play with Savannah. Oh, Noah is married with Savannah, as you guys can tell. And... I'm pretty sure that's about it. So everybody we can play with. And then the girls are hanging out over here. Well, they're watching TV. And oh, I'm going to pause this before they put out the cake. So I'm going to add the birthday candles. And should I celebrate her birthday first? I don't know. I think I'm going to celebrate her birthday first. So I'm going to have her blow up the candles. And then I'm going to have him... Come here and celebrate with her. <laughs> oh my god, I speed, I sped through it. <laughs> Whatever, so now she's Amazing. an adult. That's so crazy. Adulthood, fulfilling dreams, planning for retirement, and midlife crisis awaits. The perfect time to start wrapping up those lifelong goals. <gasps> That's crazy. Aww. I kind of wish they were still young adults. I'm going to actually add the candle before somebody grabs a piece of cake. So then it's going to be Hunter's turn to make a wish. Oh my god, this is so sad. I don't want them to be an adult. Aw, Madison's so cute. <laughs> Come on, Hunter. <laughs> He's not even blowing hard enough. Aw, this is so sad. I still want them to be young adults. So like I was telling you guys before, if you do want them to be young adults, or drink the potion of youth, or just stay as adults, let me know down below, and I will definitely take in consideration whatever you say. But, um, or I can expand their lifespan, so you guys can just tell me that. But I think for now, I'm going to tell everybody to, like, go home. Because I kind of want them to woohoo. Because I've had this, um, aspiration for her to try for a baby. And I kind of want them to try for a baby right now. Like, let's say that they were a bit, like, you know, too tipsy. And they drank too much. And, you know, they just got crazy. So, I'm going to have her... I'm gonna have them both come here and try for a baby like they're too drunk and 
they thought they were just hoo-hooing, but they were actually trying for a baby. And I'm not going to figure out who, if she's pregnant, because I do want them to get married. And I know when you find out if you're pregnant, your belly comes out faster, so I'm not going to find out who, like, if she's pregnant yet until after the wedding, and then we're going to see if she does have a baby or not. So I think after this woohoo session, I'm going to end this episode here. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit. And this is so awkward because all their friends are just in the living room and they just went straight to bed. So um, I think this is about it. If you guys have any other things you want to talk about or add, let me know down below. I'm sorry if this was a bit of a long episode. If you guys don't like long episodes, I'm sorry for that. I just felt like I had to owe it up to you guys since I haven't recorded in three months. And I'll definitely make more space for that. If you like long episodes, then that's awesome. But if you guys have anything else to say, let me know. And I will definitely look at it and answer you back. So I think that's about it. So don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more episodes. See you guys next time. GG everybody. Bye!